Hey there, Taurus, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for December, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Taurus, if this reading resonates and you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and you want to show your gratitude and say thank you, donation link is also below. Any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Hmm. There you are in the near future. And there you are is the main energy for your reading. Bottom of the deck, you get the Eight of Pentacles. Things are working, Taurus. I know in November, a lot of your readings were surrounded around fear of loss, fear of things not working out, whether that's financial or in a relationship. And it seems like this month, you are really stepping into your power, both overall, but I feel like in the near future, you're getting with it, okay? Um, but again, okay, we'll get to this. We'll get to this. Main energy for your reading, the higher font. This is you. You in your power, beautiful energy. Recent past, you get the Page of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. Taurus. Taurus. Beautiful, beautiful Taurus. Your heart is opening up here. You are hopeful, okay? There's like this much hope, but a ton of fear, a ton of resistance, a ton of standing in your own way because you're afraid it's not going to work out because you're afraid of, like, you're basically walking into this, and this is the recent past, right? You walked into this with an energy of, it's not going to work, it's not going to work, it's not going to work. And guess what? I feel like whatever it was, it didn't work. In the current situation, though, things shift. You get the Eight of Wands, the Temperance, and the Nine of Cups. There's a very transformative change happening here for you now. You're seeking that internal balance within yourself, and things are actually happening here in the 3D world as well. You get the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is all about movement forward and things really happening. You also get the Nine of Cups, lots of emotional fulfillment, lots of emotional stability. Like, this is a really, really positive energy. Why is my camera out of focus? There we go. This is a really, really positive energy, okay? So in the current situation, things seem to be picking up for the better. Now, in the near future, you get the devil, the eight of swords, and the empress. You kind of fall back into overthinking, overanalyzing, fears, insecurities. And again, you're looking at the situation from a completely distorted perception, right? It's almost like your brain defaults to thinking negative thoughts, but that's not what's actually happening in the 3D world. This is all your internal world. It's like internal world, 3D, internal world. Get out of your own way. Get out of your own head. What is going on? Why do you keep getting sucked into negative thought patterns, like really distorted negative thought patterns? And again, I don't know if this is about yourself, finances, relationship. I don't know what this is yet. Um, but it seems like your brain is really sending you for a loop in the near future because it just, it can't, it can't seem to stay on the optimism train. I don't know why. Let's see. Let's take a look at the higher font, which is the main energy for your reading this month. Higher font is clarified by the fool, the knight of swords, and the world. The first card in tarot the last card in tarot. You're really taking action to close out cycles here. And this is you. The world is all about closing out cycles, but it's a very, very positive ending because you've learned the lessons you need to learn. You reap the rewards. It's almost like you've learned what you needed to learn. You close that book and you start over. And that's exactly what's happening here this month. You're really closing out old cycles. You've taken those lessons. You've learned what you need to learn from them. And then you're starting fresh. You're starting new. Beautiful, beautiful energy overall. And this is all you. This is you are doing this. Um, you're the one that's taking like aligned action to make this cycle end and to have a brand new cycle. Really very positive, empowered energy this month. So let's see. Let's take a look at the Page of Cups in the recent past for you. Page of Cups is clarified by the Three of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Somebody's coming in with an apology here in the recent past. Well, it's a recent past, so they came in with an apology. There was a lot of emotional pain carried with this person, which I feel like you, um, when it came to this emotional pain, you didn't really want to look at it. You almost kind of like swept it under the rug, and you're like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. This person that came in and apologized and offered you an apology, it really did make you happy. And Ten of Cups is one of the happiest cards in the entire tarot deck, so I do see a lot of happiness tied up to this apology, this person apologizing, 
but then you also don't trust this person. You're looking at this as like, okay, I accept your apology. I, I, it makes me happy, but are you trying to deceive me? Are you trying to manipulate me, right? Um, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I personally don't see that. I don't see any malintent, um, but I do definitely see that this apology did make you happy. And then immediately, just as happy as it made you, it also got you kind of questioning like, okay, well, what's the angle here? What's the other angle here? Like, what, why are you apologizing now? Let's clarify the five of pentacles in the recent past. Five of pentacles is clarified by the eight of wands, which you get again in the current situation, the four of wands and the magician. This connection was very, like the loss of this connection was very painful for you. I can see that because this is a very deep connection that you share with this person. It's a very strong bond that you share with this person. And I do see that when they do reach out, when they did communicate with you in the recent past, right? It made you feel very good. This is kind of like what you've been manifesting. You've been manifesting reigniting this spark. You've been manifesting having this person reach out and say these things. Um, but also at the same time, with that comes the pain of the loss, the pain of losing. You get the six of cups at the bottom of the deck, losing the soul connection, losing this person, losing their energy, right? The ending, all of that comes back with it. So I do see a lot of like you being happy, you feeling very positive in the recent past, but also a lot of not so great energies that come along with it. Let's take a look at the nine of wands and see what this resistance is all about in the recent past. Nine of Wands is clarified by the Five of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. This person, um, you look at them as like long-term material. This is not something casual. This is not something short-term. This connection that you had with this person in the relationship, it was the long-term. It was a, like a, a connection that was either going to be in your life for a very long time or it was in your life for a very long time, Okay. And I do see you having the desire to rekindle this. You do want to restart this, but you're also very, very conflicted. You're very, very conflicted internally because you don't trust this person. You're very guarded. You're very defensive. It's almost like there's a wall between you and them. Um, and you put that wall up there because you're showing me, I don't know. I don't know. There's definitely an internal conflict here for you. Um, trying to decide like, who this person is to you now after the separation, after they've come back, what they mean to you, what this connection means to you, how you want to pursue it. Um, yeah, I see, I definitely see the internal conflict. Let's look at the current situation. We'll see the eight of wands in the current situation. Eight of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Wands, which you just got, the Chariot and the Sun. I like this because things are happening. The more you and this person communicate, right? And there is a lot of communication. One sec. Just need to drink my tea. Um, there is a lot of communication. And the more you communicate in the current situation, the more your walls come down. And you move away from being guarded, from being resisted, resistant, from being confused. You move towards happiness, towards clarity. The sun is the happiest card in the entire tarot deck. And so I do see that in the current situation, things are really looking up for you and they're moving in a very, very positive direction. And it's all centered around you and this person communicating. The more you talk, the more you communicate, the better it becomes. Let's clarify the temperance in the current situation. Temperance is clarified by the Two of Pentacles, the Star, and the King of Pentacles. This is you. Be patient with yourself. Be patient. I can see you genuinely having this desire to move away from, you know, the past, whatever happened, moving towards a much more hopeful future. And it is. You're going through a very transformative change in the current situation, okay? But the confusion is not just going to go away overnight. And you're showing me, like, I'm still a little bit confused here. I'm still a little bit indecisive, right, about... Do I want this? Do I not? Am I moving in the right direction? Am I not, right? Um, and you're kind of like, I just want it to go away all at one swoop. Like, you know, we decide we're moving in this direction. We're moving towards each other. We're moving back together. Like, I want this confusion to go away. It doesn't work that way. I know you are stubborn. I know you're very disciplined. And you're kind of like, I can will this confusion away. You can't. Be patient with yourself. Allow this change to happen. Divine timing is at play, and you may need to give this a little bit more time for you to feel comfortable than just, boop, overnight, you know? Let's take a look at the Nine of Cups in the current situation. 
Nine of Cups is clarified by the Tower, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Empress. This is you, and you get the Empress again in the near future in the same row. Again, there is a lot of emotional fulfillment here. There's a lot of emotional stability for you, okay? And especially with the Tower showing up here, these are changes. Whatever is happening right now, it's beyond your control, all right? Whatever direction this is moving in, it's beyond your control. And you recognize that, both here in the 3D world, but also on a higher self level. I do still see you trying to control it because, again, you're not just going to be like, ah, relinquishing control, no problem. But just know that the universe is really coming in and guiding you in the current situation. And if you just release the wheel a little bit, you'll see that this is a very beautiful direction that you're moving in. Because whatever is happening right now, it really is out of your control. Let's take a look at the near future. I've been wanting to clarify the devil since the beginning of this reading in the near future. The devil is clarified by the lovers, the page of wands and the hierophant. This is you again. Taurus, you in love, love with this person. You are obsessed with this person. Like, it's literally like you feel such an intense connection to them. And it, like so much fun, so much fire, so much of that passionate energy. And you're showing me, it's like they put something in my drink. Like, I don't know why I cannot stop thinking about this person. Like, you are addicted to them. Um, this is a very hot energy though. I like this. This is hot and heavy. This is fiery. This is love. This is passion. This is all good things. At the bottom of the deck, you get the wheel of, of fortune. The energies have shifted in a positive direction here in the near future. Let's take a look at the eight of swords in the near future. The eight of swords is clarified by the knight of wands, the hanged man, the ten of swords. Everything's good. Everything's great. You get the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Things are building. Things are working. You and this person are rebuilding a foundation. You're rebuilding trust. And then you kind of freak out because you start thinking, well, what about the past? What if the past repeats itself? What if they become inconsistent? What if all this hot and heavy energy goes away? What if they lose interest? What if they, you know, all the worst case scenarios. And what does that do to this beautiful flow of energy? It stops it dead in its tracks it freezes it because you're coming into this with a very defeated energy. You're focusing all your energy, not on how good things are, but on how bad things could be if this were to end. And the universe is like, oh, okay, that's what you want to focus on. Bam, slam it on the brakes in terms of the progress here. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, Taurus, you did this to yourself. I don't know what to tell you. Let's take a look at the Empress here in the near future. But I feel like you get back on track. I feel like you kind of, you know, unslam yourself from the brakes. But let's see. Let's take a look at the Empress. Yeah. The Empress is clarified by the Hermit, the Two of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, you know that this is love. Deep down, you know what this person is. You know that this is love. And you are stable enough to stand on your own two feet, right? You have this, like, stability within you. But you may be starting to recognize that there may be some internal work that you need to do because... Again, your brain, your mind, whatever you want to call it, it's getting the better of you here. Things are happening, things are working, things are building, and then you energetically come in and just slam on the brakes because of fear, insecurities, you know, uh, what have you. And you're recognizing that in the near future, maybe I need to take a look at something internal. Maybe there's some internal work that I need to do so that I don't keep standing in my own way. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Taurus. From the universe, you get the Six of Wands, the Magician, and the King of Swords. You're manifesting success, right? And I do see you doing that. I do see you kind of like manifesting being successful, manifesting being happy, and you're doing it. You're approaching it very logically, very methodically, like I need to do this, I need to do this, you know, whatever it is, like the 3D world things you need to do. What you're not recognizing, though, is that you have success here in the 3D world. What you need to do is not the, 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 the little methodical steps of, you know, let's say you want to start a business, right? It's not about opening this and doing this and getting a secretary and getting the books and all of that. It's not the 3D world things. It's your higher self. It's your brain that you need to work on. That voice in your head, that nagging voice of it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You're going to fail. You're not going to make any money, da, 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 right? Um, and so... What you're manifesting is happening, but the thing is you're not focused on the big part of the manifestation, which is you internally, your mind, your higher self. That's what's kind of like standing in your way. Your mind is standing in your own way, Taurus. Um, but that is what I have for you.
I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider donating below. Donation link is in the description box and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Thank you so, so much for tuning in Taurus and I'll see you here on the next one.